It was three years ago. I had just finished my most successful year teaching fourth grade math and science, but I still got called into the principal's office. <laughs> I sat down. What did I do this time? He said, are you interested in teaching a science lab? I said, can I do it through the garden? He said, as long as you teach science, you can do it any way you want. Well, I said, kale, yeah. <laughs> Currently, every student kindergarten through fifth grade attends science enhancement class once a week. We operate with 34 raised beds, a semi-operational greenhouse, and a freshly plowed up 2,800 square foot piece of the front yard of school. <laughs> Did I mention that South Jackson is a public school? Science in the garden at a public elementary school. Sounds pretty radical, right? <laughs> or at least radish. <laughs> <laughs> so now that I have this amazing opportunity to start a class from scratch, how do I grow something real? Grow something real. Let's talk in terms of plant parts. Roots. This class needs a strong foundation. Educationally, science enhancement is rooted in hands-on, inquiry-based, experiential learning. We will get our hands dirty. We will ask and answer questions that come from the students themselves. All the while, we'll do all of this learning in the context of the garden. Sometimes, a student may know more about growing food than I do. Prior to teaching in the garden, I had no agricultural background. So when a student says, that's not how my pappy strings up his tomatoes, <laughs> I listen very carefully. I am a learner alongside my students. It's a big experiment. But learning goes way beyond science. So I also wanted to bridge the learning in the garden to life in general, a philosophy of the mind, the garden mind. Your mind is a garden. How will you tend to it? What will you grow? I refer to this as often as I can with all my students. Develop positive habits of the mind, and your garden mind will grow. But negative habits? They're like weeds, quick to take over, crowding your mind. Every action is either helping your garden mind to grow or is keeping it from growing. The stem, the deliverer. So this is where we take the philosophy and put it into action. So if you all were to come spend a day with us in science enhancement class, what kind of things might you see? Well. We're creating plant models, labeling the plant parts and what each part does for the survival, survival of the plant. We take weather devices. Each and every time we go out into the garden, we record the weather data and we make decisions based on that data and weather forecasts. Do we need to shade our plants because of heat? Do we need to cover them because of frost? Do we need to water or not? We learn about minerals and how they're created in the earth. But also, some of those minerals we need inside our own body. Well, how do they get there? The answer, most often, and my kids know this, plants. So we study the plants that we can be eating to get all of those minerals inside of our body. We study seasons, not like a two-week unit about seasons. We study seasons from August to May. Why do we have seasons? When they happen? And then we match the plants that we can be planting and harvesting in each of the seasons. 
we are learning about the biodiversity of gut microbes and soil microbes and how to keep them both healthy. And my students are creating advertisements for people to keep their soil healthy. Not to mention, we're growing our own food. We're cooking it and we're eating it. We are expanding our palates and our minds. On to the leaves. Leaves, amazing things. They take sunlight and turn it into energy for the plant itself. Well, who is that in Sci Enhancement class? Students. Every insightful question, every time a student stops me in the hall to tell me that last night they made spinach quesadillas at home, or they made turnip fries, or they made a kale smoothie. Every time I get an email from a parent saying that their student insisted that they go directly to the store after school to go buy some spinach, or some turnips, or some kale. It's that energy, it's that enthusiasm that feeds our class. Students are learning, and you can tell. The root feeds the stems, the stems feed the leaves, which brings us to the fruit and the flowers of this class. This is chefs, farmers, advocates, community members, coming into Sci Enhancement class, sharing their knowledge and expertise with these students. How to grow the food, how to cook the food, how to be agents for change. We created the Taste of South, a tasting event. Local chefs create a simple recipe using in-season food produce. Students, family members, community members come to school. They try these dishes. They take home the recipe. We invite local farmers into the school so that the parents, communities, family members can take those ingredients straight home and recreate them. This past October, we had the largest Taste of South event ever. 350 people packed out in the gymnasium of our school. Just a few short weeks ago, we hosted our very first farmer's market. Not with food that we're growing, that's going to the kids, but from community members that are growing their own food, making things, cottage industry. This class can help our community to bloom. You may or may not have noticed a pack of seeds at your seat. I'm assuming that you have. <laughs> seeds represent potential. I see every one of my students as a seed. I might not see, I teach 500 kids a week. I might not see many of them when they're like 20, 30, or 40. It's that potential. What can they become? An investment in the future. For Sci Enhancement, that's a fully operational, sustainable farm that educates and gives back to the community. Now, I know each one of you have an idea. You might be working on it right now. Take these seeds, plant them, put them in your pocket to represent that idea. Believe in it, nurture it, and grow something real. You guys ready to leaf out with us?
It's not a head of lettuce. Hey kids, there's a new leaf in town. It's not Dinos or Kale. Hey kids, there's a new leaf in town. It's not a bunch of collars. Hey kids, there's a new leaf in town. It's not Rainbow Chard. Leave it to spinach if you wanna stay strong. 